Our next step will be to go into the window button. It's in the upper left hand corner, it's the word window. This is where more of the game interface screens are. So if we hit window, we get a window launcher for Brain Master 2.5 SE. And as we zoom in, we'll see a lot of different options here. These are different gaming options. For instance, I'm gonna start with some of the basics. We'll click on X-Wing. As I click X-Wing, you're gonna notice a particular game screen. We'll zoom out slightly. And now what's happening is the client's meeting criteria, the ship is above the threshold, and when all criteria is met, the nose turns red. Okay. This is just one of the many games available. To go ahead and close the um, software, we simply click the X in the upper right hand corner. And then I can go back into window. And I can change something select something different such as the thermo, thermo screen. And this is often very useful for a client because the panel from the training screen can be a little on the small side. So this will allow you to, this is resizable by simply grabbing the corners, just simple windows property. And I can shrink this, stretch this. I can also bring it in this way. So it's a complete, it's a different window that's completely resizable and if we had dual monitors set up I could simply drag it onto a different monitor. Okay. We also notice that under Windows this is where you find some of the accessory software such as Multimedia Player and Macromedia Flash or the Flash Player. Let's look at the Flash Player real quick. As I hit Flash Player we're gonna notice that the flash bars for Brain Master appear. This is a neat little training game. You, the goal for um, inhibits is to keep the box or the color small and enhanced to make it large and bright. But as I go up to the word file, I can then click open and it says choose files. So I can select, as we zoom in, I can select Brain Man. And you're going to notice that this is a version of a Pac-Man type game. So I'll hit start game. And as the client meets criteria, you're going to notice that the Pac-Man is moving. When they lose focus or fall out of task, he'll stop. Okay. This game is random, so he can, he'll run the maze approximately 16,000 different ways. And as you advance and you get additional levels, the, the Pac-Man himself will get a little smarter. He'll start making decisions based on the amount of cookies in a specific quadrant. So the better the, pay, the client does, the faster the Pac-Man will run through the maze. Let's look at a different game. If we go to File, Open, we can also select brain cell. I select brain cell. And you're going to notice as we meet criteria, we have little spheres or brain cells in this jar. We continue to add more and more. When we fall out of criteria, you'll notice they'll turn, one will turn red and disappear. The goal is to add as many jars as you can over the time. And once you reach 25 cells in a in the jar you'll get a new jar. Again we click the red box to close the game. As we then scroll back to window let's look at the Mac the multimedia player. The multimedia player allows you to choose animations or movies to use as your visual feedback. So as I go up to the word animation I notice I have a browse button. The three dotted button is browse. So I click browse and I see a long list of animations. So I'm going to scroll down and choose one called flyby 2. You notice that now in the path we see C backslash NF viewer which is the folder the animations are held in and then flyby2.avi. So I'll scroll down the list 
or scroll down the box. And down at the bottom, I see a max screen update rate. This is important if it's the first time you're running MMP. You may see a number of 240 in this box. We want to swipe over 240 and put in 10. The reason for that is, is this is updates per second. And if you update it 240 times per second, it's going to be a very high resource strain on your PC and it may lag behind for the feedback. So 10, 10, 10 times per second is acceptable. We simply then hit play and you're going to notice the screen will take a few moments and then the game screen will open. Now what's happening here is this is an animation in which while you meet criteria you have a bird's eye view through this canyon and when you fall out of task the animation stops. Okay, This would also then have music playing in the background that's also modulated by whether or not you're meeting criteria. The next step for this product is the DVD player. The DVD player is part of MMP and just like it's playing this animation, a client can bring in their favorite movie, such a child may move, bring in something such as Shrek or one of the animated movies. And what happens is, is their feedback will fade in or fade out as they meet criteria as they're watching the movie. So it forces them to focus. It's also used for homeschooling scenarios where they can be watching a lesson plan with somebody lecturing and when they're focused it's nice and crystal clear and when the child begins to either zone out or daydream it, it fades to black so it allows them to know they're not paying attention or the instructor for them not paying attention. It'll allow the parent to know the child is no longer paying attention. So it's a really a beneficial tool that they can do both their schoolwork and neural feedback at the same time. To close this window, we simply hit the X. And by the way, this window is resizable. So you can blow it up to full screen or we can move it around to whichever size we'd like. Okay, So we'll close it with that red X again. This is just a look into a couple of different animations. Um, let's look at one more. And for instance, something like, um, let's go down the list here, and we have mazes. Okay. And then we hit play. And you'll notice that you begin to run through a maze. While you meet criteria, you're going through the maze. When you're not, it will hesitate or stall. So the goal is for them to race through the maze as fast as they can. Again, just a different option. We can go ahead and close that. Then to close the MMP player, we can either use the close button in the lower part of the box, or we can simply close from the red X. We want to be sure that we do not have multiple versions of the MMP running simultaneously because it would be a little too strenuous on the PC and again you may either stall the program, freeze the program, or simply the feedback would run behind. Okay, We're going to go ahead and stop this training session here. We simply hit stop. You'll notice a dialog box that asks you are you sure you want to stop running? I hit OK. Then we can simply close the training screen and it takes us back to our setup home screen for BrainMaster 2.5 SE.